YouTube, what's going on, man? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, I am bringing you guys probably my favorite build that I've made so far in NBA 2K22. So if you're hyped for that, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And let's hop straight into it. Actually, before we get going, I want to release my schedule, what I plan on uploading, and when I plan on uploading. I plan to upload two times a week and stream one time a week. So maybe upload. I don't know, maybe Tuesday and Thursday or Monday and Thursday and stream on Saturday or something. So I'm going to be streaming on the weekends, aka Saturday, Sunday, and then uploading a build video either Monday through Friday. Two of them. Alright, y'all been looking at the build in the background. This build is insane, especially when it gets to 99. That's where it really shines. It gets contacts 99. It can speed boost with a little bit of tick over 99. And look at the post stats. You are a 6'5", small 4. They're going to be dominating the paint with post takeover. Alright. So this is going to be labeled as my Jason Tatum build, so let's hop straight into it. Alright, so you're going to want to go small forward. This is the only way you can get the name that I have seen. You have to go small forward, and I know Tatum plays power forward at IRL, but, you know, if we had a good power forward, if the Celtics had like a decent power forward, he'd be playing small forward and Jalen would be shooting guard. So yeah, you want to put it at the small forward position, and you want to go to more blue than green pie chart. It's the only way you can get the name, and the only way you can get the name, I know, you can't go speed pie chart, you have to go balance pie chart, or physical, sorry, physical. Alright, for close shot, you want to go 58, driving layup, 81, driving dunk, 81, 56, driving dunk, 91, post hook, 76, mid range, 74, three pointer, 77, free throw, and 87, post fade. Along with 56, pass accuracy, 73, ball handle, and 74, post control. And 38 interior defense, 73 perimeter, 72 lateral, 72 steel, and max out your defensive rebound. And yes, this build does get better once you, we, we lower the height and stuff. And, and I know this build is only going to be 6'5", but the only, like Tatum 6'7", 6'8", but for this build to be good and have the name, you have to go 6'5". So like, you can, it's Tatum, but he's a little bit shorter, so like, you know if you make a LeBron build, it's 6'7", but he's normally like 6'9". But it's whatever. We'll go 6'5". You want to go 211 pounds. And the only way to get the name is by going 82.4 wingspan. I know another one might be better for you. And if you want to do that, go ahead. If you don't care about a name, go ahead. But I personally love names the most. You can ask anyone I talk to. I won't make a build if it has a shitty name. So if you want to go the 82.4 wingspan. I know Tatum has slasher take or even shot creator. But I want post take because he does go in the post a lot. And it's going to be so stupid good. Just bullying kids in the pan on this boat. So I went with post takeover and you get the name balanced score. Shades of Mar DeRozan, TJ Warren, and Kawhi. And as always, I'm going to give you all some badges. The best badges to use probably on this build. So you can consider this build an MJ build. It's like what mainly it is. But I think it's also can be used as a Jason Tatum build. And that's why I'm putting it as. Just follow the badges in the background. Those badges are going to be stupid in the pan against a little guard. And I don't know, I just feel like this build is going to be probably my favorite all year. Because the speed might seem slow, but when you get to 99, which 99 is always easy if you just put a couple days into my career, you get 88 speed, and that's more than enough to get create your own shot. And when you get that takeover and you get 99, you get those contact dunks, and you get an 84 ball handle at 99. So you're speed boosting with a little bit of takeover. And it's such a balanced badge layout and badge attribute. It's insane. Just attributes are all balanced. It's awesome. And that's going to be it. I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. My next stream will be this Saturday or Sunday, and I'll catch you on the next one.